A word for our listeners. Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, George Chimples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano with Matt Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody, welcome back to Masks of Nyarlathotep. I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Jason. Hello. Scott. Hello. George. Hello. Justin. Howdy. And John. Hi. And I'm Matt. We're going to get right back into the action. You guys are running towards the mountain, right? Yay! I run towards the mountain. Yay. Running towards the mountain. Uh, you guys... I shoot right. I shoot right. You guys you all need to roll con times four. For what? Yeah, right. Stamina. Oh, really? Uh, <coughs> the old priest <laughs> made it by the I'm not used to running. This is well, and you've been, jokes. you know, beaten to death and caught on fire. You're a walking pile of scars, and uh, you and the so uh, Frank and the and uh, Father Grave start to fall behind a little bit. Are you guys going to slow down for them? I do. Who? Sure. These two. Who? Frank. <laughs> No, no, and you're not who? getting the joke. Oh, so who? No. <laughs> so you're going to leave the party behind and go off by yourself? Um, I'm imagining the party's keeping up with me. No, they're not. <laughs> Unless uh, the professor's going to keep up with you, you're by yourself. Professor? The professor will go with the lawyer's group of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, then, as I notice, I'm outpacing the group with my stamina as he type self. I guess I'll slow down. Okay. To help them, of course. You guys uh, hustle up. The mountain itself, the base has, um, like, lush trees and growth around the base of the mountain. Um, up higher, it's clear that it's a, it is a volcano. Whether it's active or not, you can't tell. But there's ash that has been clearly washed away over time that has deposited itself at the base of the mountain. Um, I need everybody to give me a spot hidden. Whoever's carrying the whisk gets up 25%. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's what you didn't let us up our skills, so no. You, of course I didn't let you up your skills. <coughs> there were not at the point to up your skills. Um, if you made it, you notice that uh, there is a path up that you could go. I'm following if you ever noticed. I point up the path. Are you guys going up the path? I was pointing at sheer cliff face, and then Ma goes, that way. So you guys are going up the path. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You hustle over to the path, and just as you're about to go up it, out of the forest come four more guards. So we are going to... Are you talking the forest? No, no, no. Do you not hear the, the <coughs> road all the way around the base of the mountain? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, they're not 40 minutes behind you by Floyd. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was going back to hold this part of the mountain. Thing. No. Good call. Uh, so... We are going to declare John. What are you doing? Shoot everybody. Everyone? Every <coughs> single. All right, so you're in the back. So you'll start with uh, the professor. Gotcha. No, I shoot the first <laughs> cultist I see. Uh, uh, Justin. I fire into the one no, that looks the best. No, you should fall back. Okay. Sure. I'm worried in the back. Surely. I'm going to shoot the second guy. Okay. Uh, Jason? Oh, Scott. How tall is the grass that we're in currently? Uh, three and a half foot. I dropped prone into the grass. Okay, oh. are you going to just drop prone? That's all you're doing. Can I shoot through? The do grass? you have a Do you have a pistol? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you could, but you'll be at a negative. Sure. Okay. Well, now if I fire, will there be a muzzle flash? They'll be able to locate me. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of gunfire. I'm not sure. I'm not sure they're gonna look for the one dude in the grass. It's dry. Is there a muzzle flash? It's, it's, it's rainy season. season. We, we already had that. Uh, What's the distance? It's, it's duck season, actually. 
Yeah, what, what are the uh, We'll call it from uh, Archibald to the guys. We'll call that 15 yards. So. Can we call it 12? No. Why? What's your range? 12? <laughs> 12. <laughs> that's my double damage range. All right. Well, so oh, that's your double damage range. No, how is that normal. your double damage that's range? In feet. That's in feet. Oh, I thought that was in yards. No, it's oh, in feet. Sorry, never mind. Okay. Well, they get close enough to hit you there. Yeah. So, uh, we will start with firing. John. Yeah, you did it right this time. There's one. Yay. How many episodes are there right This is the third. Miss. All right. Justin. I miss. Yeah, good start. Jack Shirley kills all of them one bullet. <laughs> hit. Uh, which one? Top. Second, third, Second. Uh, I dodge. Uh, you know what? It's cocked. I don't dodge. Do your damage. Oh, practice. Uh, eight. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nine. Nine damage. Uh, just so the second one down. Okay. That one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay, hey, focus, 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 uh, Jason. Um, I guess I will shoot at the first one up top. Okay, go ahead. I don't dodge, roll your damage. Six. That's it? I'm not using my rocket. Okay. Uh, Scott. What's my penalty? Uh, we'll call it half. Okay, missed. <laughs> did, did you get like a 24? <laughs> did you get a 24? Yeah. Okay. George. So it'll be on 15 yards? Yeah, you can move off. It's not a problem. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, which one are you shooting? Um, the second one. Two. Do your damage. Two? Nope, not dead. That's not the nine on it. Yeah, it's still not dead. Okay. Okay, um, so they are going to close. Uh, George, can you move yourself up just a little bit on there? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the two wounded guys. Uh, Scott, can you roll your luck for me twice? Certainly. <clears throat> well, that would be a fail. And that would be a success. Okay, move one of the wounded guys to you, Ma. And the other wounded guy to uh, Archibald. Luck. Sorry. You're also way out in front. That's why I did that. That's why I went down. The yeah, I know. Hoping that they'd lose me. Yeah. Um, and then uh, move the other two guys to Catherine and Frank. All right. So they will swing. So the first guy is going to swing on Ma. No. No. Yeah, uh, one's gonna fry, swing on Archibald. No, Frank. No. Thank God. And Not Catherine. Funny. Yes. All right, Scott. Yes. Four damage. <clears throat> And then we go to John, second round. You're going to bayonet, I assume. If there's one close. You could move up and bayonet one of the wounds. The wounded one on Ma. So move around the professor. Sounds good. Swing it. Yes. Okay. Uh, roll damage. Or I'm going to roll my dodge. Right. Go ahead. Five. Okay. Um, uh, he's not down, and then Justin, not, not okay. no negative. Uh, okay, you ha you he is within your feet in yards, or uh, I'm sorry, your dex and feet. I hit and impale. You hit and impale. Yeah, whatever. It is. So quadruple damage. What? It it doubles. No, no, no. So if he's so in I'm sorry, yeah. Range, yeah. Doubles, yeah. Just no, you're right. Just double damage. Just yeah, double damage. Got it. I'm with you. 18. Dead. Dead, dead. What's impale do? Double damage. Yeah. And what signifies impale? One-fifth of your gun skill. 
Okay. Uh, or, or sword skill on those swords that have a pair. Yeah, the only thing that doesn't have a pair is Yeah, surely. Chairs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, no. Uh, uh is it on? <coughs> did you hit, uh, um, double your, your skill? Double my skill? Yeah, yeah you're point blank. Oh, yeah. Okay, roll well, your damage. Um, ten. Still up. This is the guy on her. And then, uh, Jason. Which one are you shooting, Jason? Uh, same one again. Maybe the one on Maul. Okay. No. Six. Dead. And Scott. Me. Uh, George. We well, yeah, one shooting at uh, the one that's close to me, so uh, the one on Archwold. Okay. I dodge. Finally. Okay. One dodge. I'm gonna roll on again. Yeah, because you get two. Go ahead. Dodge this. Can't. I know. Eight. Eight. I was dead. That scene. <clears throat> and then we go to the top of the round. We declare the cultist is going to swing on Kath. Mm-hmm. Catherine. And then, uh, John, what are you doing? Firing on him? Shooting the next one down the line, yeah. Sure. Uh, Justin? I'm shooting the cultist on Catherine. Surely. I'm shooting the cultist on him. Okay. Jason? I'm reloading. Scott? I'm shooting the cultist on Catherine. And George? I'm going to shoot... That's fine. I just... We have to declare. <laughs> All together. John, fire. <laughs> That is a miss. Justin? That is a hit. No. Three damage. Twelve. No. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead, dead. Very, very, very dead. Where do you shoot him? Torso? Face. Okay. Is there anything left from the neck up? No. Okay, then I shoot him in the chest. Okay. Why? You get up and walk over and just be like, Cultist. We did declare that it was shooting at the guy. That's fine. All right, you reload. I assume everybody reloads. Yes. Yes. Do you I reload. Put, for yes. Me? yes. Okay. Can I do put rifle for the clothes. Uh, you find. Have you got clothes on? Yeah, they've got They're cultist not, robes. Um, they have a pronga, which is the club. They and they're also carrying uh bows with arrows. It would be safe to assume that none of these cultists are Caucasian. Okay. Not a single one. Oh, no, putting on groups. Um, <laughs> uh, look, it's washing right up! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> if you'd like, I can consume their corpse and take on their ass. Nobody would like that. I take a half step away from the professor. <laughs> just didn't answer that. Yeah. Point your gun in his hair. Hey, guys, to answer that question, yes, you could. If it were dark out, you could probably pull the hoods up and draw, pull your arms in enough that they wouldn't hang out and you might be able <laughs> to get away with it. It's not dark out here. No, it's like. But you may be like two overcast. hours in the morning. It is still overcast, but it's not that dark. Okay, you guys are going up the side of the mountain and still moving quick. Is there anything on the arrows? No, just arrows. If you want to take the bow and arrow? That's can, fine. Can we take the? Let's wear the ropes. You want to wear them or take them? Or, well, from the idea, uh, what what color are they? Ah, uh, we're gonna go with. Black, mostly, or I'm sorry, mostly red with some black trim, and, and, we're, and we're all wearing. Uh, t- I assume tan, like tan, like yeah, shit that would stand out orange. against a mountain that wasn't um, all red and some black on it. Yeah, uh, honestly, I, you guys wouldn't stick out that much against the mountain because tan and the, the mountain rocks might blend in with that. But you're gonna stand out more than dudes they expect to see. From distance. So if they so if they see someone however, going up the mountain and then the lookout's like, oh look, yeah, it's however, guys dressed like them. You're going to be going up a mountain. Are you going to move quickly? Because as we just experienced, running at for a distance and time is going to require stamina checks. Wearing heavier robes 
and you're going to get warmer, it's going to require even more stamina checks. I'm just saying, like, that could slow you down if you want to move quickly. If we went commando under the rope, then that reduces. If you want to toss your clothes, that's fine. That would that you'd still have to make stamina checks. It's it's hot and muggy out, and you're going to put on a full body clothing. You know. I mean, my thought is, what's the benefit of being seen from a distance and going? Oh yeah, they're coming back from wherever they were. I, I'm not saying it's a, I'm not saying it's a bad plan. I'm saying if you're going to run up the mountain, <coughs> this is not the best way to do it. Might be best to right? Yeah. That's fair. Probably slower. Do we know where we're going now that we're on the mountains? So it's here somewhere in the mountain. But there's what a path here. The entrance. The entrance. Whatever's going on here is here in the mountain. Okay. Um, and it's there's a and there's a mountain path here that they clearly were guarding. I mean, it. That's okay. what tells you. Okay. Yeah, I'm putting on a road. The man without a Are you guys all putting on robes? We can't. Yeah. Oh, good call. Good call. Wasn't there some Yeah, but it's like. Back half hour to begin? Um, God, Ma, give me a uh, idea. You've been criminalized. You've been a criminal before. Yes. Uh, you could um rip the clothes of the two people that that are not um cultists. And dra- like the two lightest people, you could carry or drag up. There's cultists here that are bringing sacrifices, just to be two more sacrifices. So we're gonna do like uh, we found this working and we're heading into the dungeon. Honestly, yes. yes, that trope, yes. Okay, I suggest this. <clears throat> we could. Uh, us to a sacrifice. I look like I've been beaten up. I can... Well, you have been beaten up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your size? Oh, yeah, that might be a problem. I am my size is sixteen. Holy crap. You're <laughs> one of the biggest people here. My size is a 10. Well, and you're the woman? Well, yeah, so I'm just, you know, a given. Who else is small? Well, that's four. Father Grave. She's saying one, somebody two, smaller three, than me should be one of the people. Why? Yeah. The woman and the one who can't fire a pistol. So, who's that? that? So Archibald? <laughs> <laughs> that was clearly what he was wanting. Scott, what's your size? Eleven. Okay, so you should. So I I'm all putting a robe on. I'm like, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Take the robe. Oh. Now that becomes the question of who's carrying the uh, chameleon. I will. Okay, it's fine. Just one more time. No. You're a hostage. Can't carry you're going to have to commit them to the second device. No, alright. <laughs> I start binding your hands together. Whoa. Your job is to look down. Are you, are you binding them so they look good, but are loose enough for them to get out of it? Yes. Okay, do you have rope use? It's not a thing, I'm sure. Do you have the non weapon proficiency rope skills? I have locksmith. Uh, yeah, you know what? Roll it. That makes as much sense as anything else. And I made that. Okay, roll it again for the other person. That first one was for Archie Scott. <laughs> Fail. <coughs> Here, let me try that. No, 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 no. He no. ties it. It's just oh. not as loose as it should be. Um, so, uh, Catherine, you'll we'll we'll deal with that when that happens. Mm-hmm. You don't know it though. You think yeah. he's done a good job. Yeah. So you guys start going up the mountain. It is literally like a half hour walk because it's a lot of steepness. Uh, the path is there, but it breaks up at some points with some weird jagged rocks, and it just takes a while to get up there. You finally climb the last bit of the mountain. Wow, I'm not in the right part of the chapter at all. You see a basement with a terrible thing inside. Yes. Um, so, um, and you come to a ledge where it, it, ha- it um, evens out, and there's an entrance into the into the mountain. You're probably um, I'd say 150 feet up off the ground, off the, the, the savannah by now. That sounds, does that sound pretty high on the mountain? Does that sound pretty high? Spread up? Pretty yeah. Good. We'll call it 300 feet. We'll double that because mountains are in Kenya, in Kenya, Mount Kenya is one of the larger mountains in Africa, isn't it, George? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it whatever I just said, 300 feet. You're 300 feet up. It's 30 stories. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Now, thank you. That that gives me a reference point in my mind. That makes more sense. Yeah, thirty stories. Way up. There. Yep, that's way up there. That's so you have a good. One hundred fifty feet is like. Actually, uh, give me, sense. give me, yeah. give me a spot hidden roll from everyone except the two, the two sacrifices. Thanks. Uh, Sorry. Because yeah. you're probably being carried. 
so it's not going to be easy for you to look. Um, out on the plains, you see maybe seven or eight <coughs> groups of black dots, which you assume are cultists. They're either moving through the fields, they're coming to or from, they're just kind of milling around out there doing what seems to be normal stuff. Um, each group is probably six, uh, is between four and twelve dots, just doing whatever they're doing. Patrolling themselves? Maybe. They may be patrolling, they may be grabbing food, they may be bringing stuff back and forth. It's hard to tell this far up, but there's clearly, a, you're probably looking at 40 or 50 cultists down there. Okay. Uh, so are you guys going in the cave? I'm going to sneak towards the entrance before I run out. Sure. Uh, I'm missing, but... Has anybody missing. acknowledged our... There's been nobody on the path. You would have to guess, if you, as a soldier, it would make sense to you that they had the four guys there, because it's a long walk up there, and they would you know, probably be seen, but if you all are dressed in robes, maybe they didn't see you. So, um, so George, give me a disguise roll, if you would. That one thing nobody took, except maybe Frank. I got a five. Uh, uh, over five. one? One. Okay. You know what? We'll call that a success. Don't mark it, though. Sure. Um, so you're kind of rounding the, the, the entrance to the cave, and you're keeping an eye out, and you're watching, and just, like, as you're standing there, two cultists walk out. Like, nothing's wrong. And they look at you, nod their heads. Their hoods are pulled back. I assume your hoods are up. Mm -hmm. They nod their heads and walk right past the group of you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, like they don't even seem to. Do you want to push them off the mountain? Do you really? Uh, I'm, no, I'm being dead serious. Be no, because they'll be screaming on the way down. George, do you want to push them off the mountain? Because I know how Ma works now. Ma, do you want to push them off the mountain? She also is not a moron. Okay. So um, you want to push one, stab the other in the back, and as he slowly slides off your blade to fall off. Professor, are you probably towards the back, you think? Right. Uh, middle of the pack. Okay. So as those two cultists come around, you look up. Oh, do I now? Well, I mean, you're, <laughs> you're watching them. You don't look up and, like, show your face. <laughs> okay. But you look at, at them, um, and it is your mother and father. Sweet. <laughs> and they walk past. Are you going to do anything? Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> we saw two. You just saw a man and a woman just kind of walk out. Like oh. African. Nope. You, they were cultists, and you're kind of... That's why they were too concerned about the, the white cultists. Christians. You're kind of all uh, intense, because, you know, oh my god. And Ma didn't really notice. He's just like, oh crap, people. And then they were just like, mm. and then they come around the corner. And now you've realized, now you've all realized two white people are there, standing there. Um... Are you going to do anything, Professor? Oh, God. I'm going to leave this up to the standing check. Okay. Like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Like, just to be like, do I just go, huh? Kablam! Or just try to, like, leave things on. Okay. Okay. Go. So you're going to maintain <laughs> your calm? Yes. I'm going to need you to roll a persuade. And everyone else can roll a psychology. I, I can't fail. See them, I'm over you you can see some. You can go ahead and roll it. Fine. I failed not by much. I did a five. Got it. What am I in? Psychology? Yeah. Wait, am I rolling psychology? Or You're rolling persuade. Okay. They're checking to see if they notice. If you <laughs> failed, uh, who made their psychology? So I, I did fail. Mm -hmm. So everybody but Frank and the the priest who has psychology, don't you? Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, you all notice the professor stiffen a lot. Like... He tries to hide, like, his surprise. You can't see his face, but his body language just went crazy. Rigid. Yes. So we should also mention that the professor being 38, these are uh, they're in their 50s. Yeah. Upper, well, yeah, according to... 20s, they're probably, like, late 50s. Yeah. According to Jesse, they're ancient. Right. Hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, they're... You know, <laughs> they, they look... Um, Wise, not old. They have that look. That they have like the lines by their eyes, but they don't look unhealthy or yeah, haggard they, they in any look way. Like educated upper middle class mm -hmm. aristocrats. So, so yeah, in character, my hand is like covering on my gun. Okay. 
No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just kind of like getting locked up, like trying not to pull Are you going to, Ma, are you going to go right onto the cape? I'm picking my head around. Uh, it goes back <clears throat> 20 feet or so. And it kind of opens up. You can't really see past that because it goes off to the right. Listen. Uh, you can roll it, sure. Okay. Uh, you hear um, uh, like a moan or two and some scuffling and maybe some light talking, but you don't hear much. You can't really make out what it is. By a moan, like a human moan, someone in pain? Um, yeah. But not like immediate, like, oh my god, this is excruciating, but like a continual aching pain. Someone's been beaten up and someone's been called somewhere. I've been in prison before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably somebody that's been in a cell for a while. So um, they might they may even have like sores from having been stuck somewhere for a while. Absolutely. All motion. Everyone come up. I have a quick mechanic question. Yeah. I've never worn brass knuckles. Can I fire a gun while wearing? No. Brass? No. No. Uh, yes. Very ineffectively. Oh, okay. Very very like ineffectively. This. <laughs> I yeah. Move it towards him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, are you going to your motion for everybody to come in with you? Yeah. Okay. You walk into the cave. Is everyone else going in with Ma? Yes. Well, I'm Who's... over somebody's shoulder. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Like that us. Uh, that's a good question. Not Ma. So either Whoever's Frank, the, the professor, I'll, I'll or the I'm sorry. Yeah. I probably would have walked in and then. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> walking behind you guys. Okay. But also, you guys. I was also envisioning something where they'd have their wrists on a line that we could oh, basically okay. pull them around like on a lead. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys are all going in and kind of dragging the two sacrifices with you on the line. Yeah. That works fine with me. Um, you get inside the cave. Are you going to untie them, or are you just going to keep going along like this? Where are you keep going? Um, I think until we know that it's safe, because we've got that big round corner, we should probably stay like this. I'd rather have my gun out. Of course you would. When you learn how to load it, you will know when it is time to have your gun. Fair enough. Are we going to run this corner and open fire on these guys? Or are we going to try to get back? We don't even know where people are. With 50 or 60 others? I will... Hmm? How many other cultists? Sneak. Oh, inside, inside, you don't know. There are 40 or 50 in down out in the grass. Ma is sneaking. Sneaking? I'm sneaking to the corner. Okay. Two questions. Mm -hmm. Are you pulling your hood back? Without pulling it back, you're going to take a negative on spot and listen. It's dark in here. Uh, on spot. On listen, you'll be fine. Okay, you're getting a plus one. All right. I know. I also have my eyeballs in the back. That's fine. My hood's up. <laughs> hood's up? Okay. Um, you got a sneak. You made your sneak? Yes. Okay. Um, you sneak around the corner. The first thing you see um, is... I'm also trying to like, just, like, when I'm sneaking up, like, poke my head around to make sure... You know, yeah, yeah. The first, mouth, yeah. the first thing you see is that there are, is a pile of bodies in various stages of rotting. Okay. Um, and then, Why wouldn't you smell that? There's no smell. It's a good question. <laughs> um, probably because it's staying in a cave. Like, a smell stays in a room. It doesn't always disperse. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. <laughs> don't look, don't look down um, behind that, as you round the cave a little bit more, you see a large throne with a uh, half-naked black woman laying on it. And from the pictures you remember, it's Imwaru. Right. And she, she's laying on the throne? You know how... Kind of? you know, lounging. Like, like lounging. Like she has her legs over one arm and she's looking out across the room. Yeah, but she's not passed out. She's, no, 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 she's no. She's splayed out. Kind yeah, of she's splayed, yeah. Um, great. Is there anything else? Uh, if you can keep, are you going to keep going and sneak while you do it? Is there places that I can hide? In uh, you could hide, but it's, it's, if you get seen even in the, um, in the robe, it's going to be odd what you're doing. So. What, what I'm asking is, like, if I pass my sneak, how lightly? Like, you if can I keep hiding. Sneaking, yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you trust your sneaking, you should be all right for at least a little bit longer. Okay. And as, opposed to, as opposed to if you get seen, why is that cultist tiptoeing across the room? Because I'm drunk. <laughs> um, roll your sneak again. <laughs> 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 
Hey, don't call it out. Good. Wow. Did you, mal- did you malfunction on that one, too? <laughs> well, it's not 100. No, I know. No, you um, broke so you come around the corner, and you're, <coughs> you're sneaking up. Um, and uh, you, you get to see a little more of the room. There's another pile of corpses, and behind that, another pile of corpses. Um, and you can hear moaning from, uh, like, the room U's, but you can't see the rest of the U. Yeah. So there's something back there that's clearly uh, someone's moaning back there. Uh, but then by the two other pile of corpses, you see men, um, like, preparing flasks and um, dealing with uh, chemicals and ritual components and that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, they are They are dressed in robes or have robes near them. If they're undressed, they are all uh, African American men. African American men? Yes. That's a good thing. You mean African? Africans? Yes, African men. Gee. <laughs> nice. Um, and since I failed, they just like I just like kind of just wolf in there. Um, you you think you're sneaking? Yeah. Okay. So wait, these Africans are men to America and back. Yeah, thanks. You can you can <laughs> keep beating that dead horse. Um, Nay. are you going to head back, or do you want to see what's in the back of that cove? Once that I see that it's inhabited by more than one person who is, you know, a dark god or what have you, I would uh, try to go back to where it was. Okay. Uh, you sneak back. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the five of you that are outside, uh, you're kind of just hang out there? Is that what you've been doing? It's taken him maybe five minutes at most. Well, we're not outside. We're like... On this ledge here? Right here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You're just inside. Yeah. You're just inside. Yeah. Okay. So I sidle up next to the professor. George. And give you a... George. There you go. You that that will help. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, I if you're going to figure out what's there in a second. I sidle up next to the professor and give him a soft elbow. Don't draw the secret passage. Mm-hmm. I will kind of start on one thing. So, uh, and this is an attempt to be low enough that the others will I, not hear. I will have to have you roll a sneak, but go ahead. Sure, you want me to roll a sneak? Yes, please. Right on. For all I know, you have like a 95. <laughs> You're there. <laughs> Boom. 8 under 10. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm marking that. I done snuck. So who was it that you recognized that we passed? It was a discussion directly in front of you. No, I think it's a discussion that I don't know what's going on. It is important. It really is, but it's not something that I know. You can draw the throne on there and the piles of bodies are coming. I'm going to persuade the doctor to <laughs> tell me <laughs> exactly the professor. Who, or the professor. <laughs> um, Professor, I'm sorry. The other three of you can give me psychology checks because clearly, whatever they're they're whispering, and that's not you know not necessarily weird. But there you go. What? Got it. Okay. Everybody that got it, the professor has stiffened even more. Something, whatever Archibald is saying to him, is very uncomfortable to him. Yeah, I whispered. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are we all whispering about? <laughs> and I wave them both away. Oh, no, seriously. I'd say the whisper. I'm just not oh, whispering okay. for. Perfect. Yeah, you don't lumber up and go. So, what are we talking about? For reference, George, you probably got all the way to the right where, right as it curves into the big room, right by the body of pile of bodies. Like you got it right about there, and that's about as far as yeah. There you go. Just so you know how far you got in. I want to Make attempt concern. to persuade the do- the professor um, to give me the goods. Is this like a no, no, no. <laughs> What's your persuade? Seventy five. Uh, what's your willpower times? Will times five. Pal times five. Pal times five is eighty. Yeah, you've got like a 5% chance, we'll call it. Because he's pretty, that pal, that, that force of will, and yours is 75, right? Right. He's got an 80. That's like a 5% chance of really convincing him on the fly. If you took the time, I wouldn't ask you to roll. Right. Like, if this were over weeks, you could eventually bring him down. But this is like on the fly. It's a 5% chance, we'll call it. Okay. So you, you kind of poke at him a couple of times. It's clear he's not going to let it go. Whatever's going. Whatever's going I was attempting to 
gently and quietly. Ask the professor who it was he recognized that passed us. Did you recognize him? Yes, I did. Turned out to me. Because Another it was time. Out of a cave. Everyone but Archibald <laughs> and Ma give me a sneak. <laughs> No, he's not sneaky priest. Yeah. Nothing but a seven. I was uh, 67 over. 67 <laughs> over. Like, everybody else get, uh, is talking quietly. Catherine, Catherine gets the tiniest loud, and then uh, the professor's like, I'm not talking about it. And he, and then quickly like, oh, jeez. But because he was clearly loud, too loud, and uh, Ma, as you're starting to come back, you hear, I'm not talking about it a little too loud. Do you turn around to see if anybody else heard it? Of course they did. No, they heard these people. You, do you look back towards the... How much, well, first, how many people did I see? I would say six cultists plus Imwaru. Okay. And for the sake of reference... Which pile of bodies were they near? Were they uh, the two potty bo- pile of bodies on the far right, they're kind of in between them, but off to the right a little more. So, sorry, these ones? Uh, the, the other way, on the other side of them. These no, ones? no, on the other oh, side of right. those two. These ones? <laughs> sorry, I totally did not hear what no, you said. No, that's okay. You want to put them right about? No, I want the safety of the herd. Um, so I'm not look back. I assume that they definitely heard it, so I'm just going to book it. D- you're going to book it, or are you going to walk back nonchalant? Quickly. How far? Oh, you've got probably 20 feet to go around. Here's what I do. I'm walking, so I curl back, mm-hmm. and I'm going to be like, hmm, I heard something. And then... Like you're going to investigate? <laughs> yep. That's fine. <laughs> um, roll your persuade. Yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you a plus 20. Constant. Hey, plus 20 makes gives it to me. All righty. What'd you say, John? In costume bonus. Yeah, yeah. You're in costume, costume bonus. Um, yeah, you just walk back. Um, and then the, uh, you, yeah, you, so you walk back, and the professor is clearly the one that said it. He looks, you look a little. Dude, green. Yeah. The kills. Yeah, like he didn't mean to talk. It's clear that he didn't mean to talk that loud. Yeah, so I'm going to do hold up six fingers with a clubbing motion. Okay. And then also do like a fan thing above my head, <laughs> which I don't know, international sign for God King? Yeah. I don't know. There's We're a here. deer that we need to club six times in there. Crown? <laughs> no, I, I, no, I get you. Yeah, that makes sense. It does. <laughs> that seems. <laughs> so funny. That seems, as with the language barrier, that seems about as good as you can get it, probably. Yeah, that's fair. So I'll uh, put my hat back on. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you're going to pull the hood back? Yeah, put my hat back on. Okay. Um, his, his face has gone a little pale. Uh, he's a little well, pale, paler because you know he's a he's a book nerd. And he stays inside all the time. He's not on safari. He's got some sun. He's now. he's uh he's British color now. He's probably <laughs> sunburned now, actually. Yeah. These are not helping our trust issues. You know people here. I I whisper people here. not the time. I put a finger <laughs> to your lips, to, to Archibald's lips. Like on them or to them? Oh, oh them. on them. I'm, gonna, uh, I'm done. <laughs> I've got my gun in my other hand now. Gesturing <laughs> where I came from. Yeah, like I'm getting ready to pull my shot now. Yeah. I am going to pass in his gun. Okay, yeah. I'm stepping back <laughs> towards the ledge. And he touched my face. Are you he going touched, out? He touched my mouth. Are I'm you out. going out of the cave? Nope. Okay, because you're kind of tethered to Catherine. <laughs> For so, those of you, yeah. this is what we call an Egyptian rat screw. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I guess he and I are in a tug of war. What is No, well, I mean, he didn't move that far. There's, no, probably, enough, there's yeah. probably enough slack between the two of you. Yeah. All right, what are you guys doing? I make a shrugging so motion. I'm to go take care of business. I draw with my pistols. I pass in this. I'm, I'm, I'm like this thing on fire. Hold on. The bravest man here does not know what to do, and you want to go attack these people. We're leaving. I gesture wildly at my mouth. <laughs> and he's mouthing, what are we doing here? I'm like going outside. Um, Father, are you the one probably nearest the, the cave mouth towards the outside, you think? It's like Archibald will be at this point. But he's yeah. still tethered to Catherine, so he can't be the farthest away. One away, it wouldn't make he a lot tethered. of sense. 
So yeah, furniture. Oh, yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm on my ropes. Oh, you uh, I I Pop, didn't hear that part. Oh, okay, then you're right. You're closest to the what? That's fine. Uh, give me a, a listen. Yeah, good luck with that. Fifty-eight over forty, or forty-five. Fifty-eight over forty-five. Okay. Um. Okay. What are you guys doing? I get him his gun. Mm-hmm. You already did that. We're past that. I point to the outside and start. There's too many out there. There's more out there oh, than in that little outfit. There's like fifty of them out there. What about the other path? What other path? The path that we have. Is, is that the path we came up? Yes. Um. <coughs> yeah, and where it kind of juts off there, yeah. it, it drops off. Oh, so it's just The only out I can see is cutting off the head and hoping the rest can. Last time we faced one of these elder priests, it was very bad. We need a plan more than go in and shoot. Can we go outside and come? <laughs> well, this is Can't thrilling radio here. Guys. Meanwhile, meanwhile, there's a lot of people text messaging. Well, lot. There are several people text messaging, text messaging each other across the table. Some sort of nefarious secret things. The reader will find out what else happened. How do we need to melt this guy's priest mind? The thing is, hold on, we would have already made a plan. <laughs> but we oh, we did. did! We did it! We never did! <laughs> we, just we never did! It. We, we never had this conversation. <laughs> 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 the, uh, the dude with the chameleon that will protect us goes in and shoots the priestess. Really? Really. Yes. Are you going to let the chameleon out? Hold on, hey, hey. Are you going to let the chameleon out first? Yes. Okay. I follow with. Um, anyone who's going in towards the yeah, going 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 Alright, so. Uh, here, here's how this goes. We're not devolving into combat. Stop real quick, George. You don't even need to get up. Cool. So the pre the the priest here, Father Grave, walks out, sets the 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 while you guys are kind of arguing back and forth, sets the little carrying case down, opens the thing. The chameleon walks out, looks up at you, flicks its tongue out like chameleons do, and then runs. And as it's taking its runs, it grows and grows and grows and grows until it's about the size uh sixty four. So, still in the lion yeah. or we're talking or like elephant? small elephant, but right. still a giant chameleon. And you hear, ah, like the, the like the people in there are clearly confused as to what's going on. <laughs> and that's when the chameleon leaps the cave is high enough, and you see bodies just fly everywhere apart as it lands on them. And Waru disappears. Meanwhile, the chameleon just eats the crap out of the six guys in there. I'm not actually going and watching this. I'm just going to be <coughs> hanging out near the side and just listening I, until I it sounds like the action. Hold on. She I'm, disappears as in like his face into nothing. Or? Hold on. All right, what were you saying, Shirley? I was just going to say I'm at the very pack, back of the pack because I would have been trying to get everybody to go outside so we could. Okay, that's fine. Um, I need. We'll call. George, you're probably closest, and Father Grave. Well, I mean, of the rest of the group, you let him out. I need you both to roll sanity. You don't even need to worry about the map. Yep. Missed it by four. I like that. Uh, George, or I'm sorry, both of you, uh, roll a d4. As this thing grows, it, you knew it was powerful, but that's that's not natural. That's not right. Yep. <laughs> four. You pretty much to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you lost all four. Yikes. I also lost all four. Hey, congratulations, guys. Uh, what are the rest of the four of you? Or what are, the, are you guys booking it out? Are you booking it in? Where are you going? I'm going in. I'm the priestess. Scared. When she disappeared, did she just, like, knock there? You'd have to go in to see her. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to head to the front. Yeah, I'm going okay. in. All right. What about you, Archibald? Uh, I've got okay. my gun drawn. And you see that for this X, I'm going to press myself up against the closest wall that will okay. protect me from the ledge. Okay. And... Wait for the horribleness to ensue so that I can cover their retreat. Okay. And I see myself like my back is up against this. 
at the end of the inner wall and I'm kind of scooting in because I'm going okay. to follow everybody else in. Uh, this is the point where you realize your hands are tied and you cannot fire your rifle or your shotgun or whatever you have. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> everybody that's surrounding the corner, which sounds like everyone, that hasn't already made a stand, you're surrounding the outside, you're still no, walking. I'm, no, I'm, I've stopped. I'm oh, right. Did you not say you were rounding? No. I said I'm pressing my Okay, back. everybody but Scott and the two people that have okay. already made sanity checks make sanity checks. Uh, you still lose one. Yep. Still very unnatural. Yep, I see giant chameleon teeth. No, I made it. You still lose one. Yeah, you still lose one. Right there. You're gonna meld into the wall, I got. Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm just gonna use my uh Um so She are clucking technology. Another dozen or so uh cult cultists come out of that cove where the where Ma you didn't see, and the chameleon just rips them to pieces, like grabs them and shakes its head and like their arms come flying off and their bodies sail, sail across the room. It's having a good old time though. Um it just destroys all of them, and when the last of them is done, it shrinks back down and skitters into like a mouse hole. It's gone. Aww. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you were very clear. It was very clearly told you that you only got him one time. John right. is cool. absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay. Still, you're still supposed to catch him. Um, so as you get into the room, there are bodies. There are piles of bodies. And then in that alcove, there is a large uh, iron cave. A cage. Cage, not cave. An iron cage. It's hanging off the ground. Um, it's 20. No, that's not it. Uh, Who's screaming? There are uh, 50 uh, prisoners of various stages of unconsciousness in the cage. Um, What's been done to the bodies? I mean, the, the piles of bodies that were there. Uh, like they were so. Uh, things have been taken out. Some of them have been stabbed. Some of them clearly have been bled. So it's just a mess. Yeah, and they're all kind of decomposing in, in various stages. So some of them you can't tell what happened, but it doesn't look pleasant. Is there any lock on this bench? Yes, oh, there's a there very there? nice padlock. Uh, roll me a uh, locksmith. Four. Oh, yeah. You pop the lock. There are 50 people inside that are in various stages of unconsciousness, either through beatings or just malnutrition or, you know. Anybody got this? Uh, there are a couple of people that, are, that moan a little bit and look over. Uh, there are uh, a wide gamut. There are plenty of African men and women and children. Uh, there's also some uh, white uh, Europeans, um, a couple of Indians, and then uh, a couple of missionaries. I try and get the water to the children first or others conscious. Okay. With my water here. Okay. Um, while you guys are doing that, uh, Archibald, are you guys all inside the cave? Because I like Archibald, right? You guys um, moved in. Yeah, I'm going for the throne. Like exactly. check it out. One, yeah. yeah, once there's, it's clear there's no one left in here that's an immediate threat, I go back with Archibald <coughs> and see if... Yeah, was there screaming when the Canadian tore in? Hold on. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. To see if anyone from below the fifty or so cultists below has been notified okay. by the noise. Um, are you going to kill anyone that's just maimed and kind of uncotton, still conscious of the cultists? Yes. Like if they're laying there, are you going to put your bayonet through their throat, kind of thing? I would assess their injuries to see if they are likely to get up. And if they're not, they're if they're not, then they can just be, they can just lay there. They're gonna get right. up, and I guess then none of them are. Going I would to detain get them. Up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not mercy killing yet. Okay. You go over to the throne, Professor. You. What are you doing? I'm gonna check it out the currency department. Give me uh, yeah. luck. You're gonna loot the throne. Right. Pretty much. Uh, I made it by sixty five. Okay. Um, you go through the throne. Uh, there's nothing any at all that's special about it. However, in the back, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you find a small wood, hard wood box on the floor beneath the throne. Inside is an ordinary ship's timepiece set to exact Greenwich Mer Meridian time, three hours behind Kenya time. Uh, otherwise, you. You get a sense that there is a panel or something behind the throne that Memoiro probably went out through. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So, okay. Father, you've assessed the, the people. Uh, Professor, you have gone to the throne. Ma, you've let people out. Archibald, you're hiding. Or covering the entrance. Covering, covering the entrance. Was there, was there screaming? When uh, you a little bit, but it didn't carry very well. And once it hit the outside, it probably wasn't very loud. It wasn't loud enough to hear anyone like, what was that? Let's go up to the throne. Right? Not that you're aware of yet. Yeah. Jesse, what, what's Frank doing? I'm going to try to be assistant with the prisoners. Okay. And doctor, same thing? Yeah, first aid. Okay. Archibald, you see the father kind of sweep the room while the professor's doing his thing, and he's coming back to you, kind of just like he's going to come help you watch. It's about that time that you see those two cultists again come up the stair, or come up the ramp. Look Is it at just the two of them. Nope, there are a dozen behind them, and and look at you while your hand's standing there holding a gun and shake their heads. Don't even think about. And that'll do us tonight for Masks of Neolithotep. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter. You can head over to the website and sign up for the newsletter. That'll be on the right-hand side. Um, you can go to patreon.com slash nerdsdomain and support us there. And you can buy our shirts over slash loot. And we will talk to you guys real soon. This has been a production of the Omega Nerds Network. The network where it's on.